Okay, so I figured I might as well record this and test out my new lighting, but here is a used vial that I plan to use for college this semester. Uh, right now it's a little dirty, I got it refurbished from someone, and it's running a little warm, so what I'm going to do is take it apart, clean it out, and what I can do, and then replace the thermal paste. So I'll do a little time lapse like I have before, put it all back together, and see how it works. This board looks a lot simpler than the last few models that I did. The main board's right there, here's an I.O. board over here, and then that should be a board for the power and the other buttons. Uh, I should be able just to take this off, clean off the CPU, regoup it, and just kind of clean out all the dust from the fan. So that shouldn't be too hard.
All right, so I let it run a little bit. It does seem to be running smoother. I'm not seeing a much uh, improvement as far as CPU usage goes, and the fan is kicking on, but it seems about the same as before. I am glad, though, because it does seem like it's improved. It doesn't seem as chuggy as it was before, so at least there's that improvement. So let's put it back together. Okay, so I got everything together except for the uh, damaged optical drive. I'm annoyed though because somehow again, I have lost a screw. I don't know how. I had everything there when I put it together and now the screw's gone. I also see why the optical drive's not staying in place. Someone who had it before me ripped off the plastic ends that hold the drive in place. I can only assume that they had a disc that was stuck in there and they didn't know that you could eject it this way or through windows. So I don't think I'll be able to fix that part, but I'll slide it back in place once I find that screw. Just before I go, I might as well mention the two model numbers for the unit, and also this one was made in April of 2012. This has a Pentium processor and it's a dual core. It originally came with Windows 7 Pro, so there's a Windows 7 Pro license which I used for the free upgrade, which Microsoft has not shut off at all. And the model number is PCG-61A11L. And then the product number is VPCEG32FX. Well, there's a basic VIO video. I know we didn't get into much, but you have an idea how to pop them open. Well, there you go, everybody. There's another basic VIO video. So I hope you enjoyed, and until next time.